these are 10 of the worst aviation near misses from my series Weekly Dose of Aviation. In this video, we've got planes almost crashing, miscommunications and other close calls. You would not want to be on these planes and here is why. First up is this overweight Boeing 727 taking off too late from an airport in Colombia. It barely managed to take off and luckily no one was injured. This MD-11 was cleared to land but at the same time a Boeing 767 was lining up for takeoff on the same runway it was supposed to land on. The MD-11 was forced to go around and the 767 had to abort its takeoff. This Airbus A321neo landing at Skiathos airport in Greece approaching too low. Even though Skiathos is known for low approaches leading up to its very short runway, planes usually have more margin than this. This Airbus A321 landed and bounced, almost resulting in a tail strike. This Airbus A319 flying really close to another plane. Then they did it again, but this time even closer. This was at an air show in Slovakia. This Boeing 767 almost had a tail strike. This Boeing 767 had to go around due to an Airbus A330neo still taking off on the same runway. This Airbus A350 landing at London Heathrow was battling a crosswind and ended up landing a lot harder than usual, resulting in this. Oh, easy! Oh my flipping heck! Wow! I'm surprised that's not a touch and go, mate. Wow, that was pretty gnarly, man. Watch that back if you missed it. This Boeing 727 was overloaded and took off at the last second, spraying debris onto people at the end of the runway. This Airbus A321neo came in unusually low, almost hitting spectators while landing in Skiathos, Greece. Now up next are some honorable mentions. This Boeing 757 was forced to land too fast due to its flaps being stuck in the takeoff position.
The plane landed while going 160 knots and was met by fire services. This Boeing 767 was landing at an airport in Brazil, but came in low and almost hit the mountain wall before the runway. This plane, trying to land in a crosswind, was sent into a nosedive by the extreme winds above the runway. The plane was forced to go around and attempt the landing again. This plane has to nosedive for the runway to be able to land. This is St. Barthelemy, one of the most challenging airports to land at in the world. And this is how planes approach it. The C5M Galaxy took off too slow, forcing the Airbus A330 behind it to go around. This Boeing 757 was taking off when it had an engine failure, causing a fire in the engine. No, it's just trying to take off. Blue motor. Fire crews quickly responded to the scene, and this happened at John Wayne Airport in California. This F-15 was taking off when suddenly it had a compressor stall causing flames to shoot out of the engine. Luckily, the pilot could still abort the takeoff and no one was injured. This plane had to abort its takeoff after it started hydroplaning to the right on the wet runway. This FedEx MD-10 extended its landing gear a lot later than it should while landing in Chicago, as if the pilots forgot to do it. Also, right now, you guys get free international shipping on all orders over $50 on the Aviation Central. Go check it out at the link in the description and get the best aviation merchandise out there. This Boeing 737 had an issue with its reverse thrust, forcing it to land in wet conditions without it.
And those are just some of the near misses from the series. Go watch more on my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.